Kelly Orchard's podcast for successful badassery. This is badass territory. No sniveling. Turn up your energy with Mustang Monday. Here once again in the driver's seat is Kelly Orchard. All right, hey everybody, this is Kelly Orchard with Mustang Monday yet again. And uh, in the car with me right now is Jonathan Montanez from Polito Restoration. Mm -hmm. And is there something else that goes with that? It's Polito Cleaning and Restoration. Thank you, see. You know, we do mostly restoration and very little cleaning. Okay. (laughs) We do a lot of cleanup after a lot of cleanup after the restoration or after the after the disaster. After the disaster, fire. yes, mm-hmm. that's right. Okay. Well, I'm so happy to have you in the car today okay. to, to just hop in the seat to give a badass tip from the street. That's kind of the mm-hmm. the rhyme that we've been doing. We've been trying to do this for a while. That's right. Yeah. Yep. But uh, so see, Jonathan and I met because of networking, mm-hmm. and I always I always want to push that no matter what you do for whether you're a stay at home mom or a stay at home dad or retired. Or you're trying to build a business or even just get yourself out there and known networking is definitely the way to go it's huge it's huge mm-hmm. it is I mean you can develop relationships you know it's like so you are involved in multiple different chambers of commerce and different networking groups, that's right aren't you that's as right. your role for Polito is that part that's of correct. it yeah yeah so See? my role is uh, business development mm-hmm. so uh, you know I have a very unique industry being in restoration that uh, nobody wants my services Nobody, yeah. nobody ever just yeah. wakes up in the morning and says, man, I really wish my house would flood so I can call <laughs> Jonathan. You know? That's very true. Nobody so ever does that. It's yeah. extremely important to have like that brand recognition to be out in the mm-hmm. community. And so we take a lot of pride in educating the community, but also just being out there and letting people know that we're here, mm-hmm. you know, because when that does happen, and you, you want get, to know who to call. You get home from soccer practice and yeah. your ceiling caved in because, you know, something yeah. was running all yeah. day. Uh, yeah, you want to think, oh, yeah, that American flag. That. So that's what you do is you you give people the per- peace of mind in their homes or even in their that's businesses right. when so, when disaster strikes. That's right. Okay. Yeah. So there we know what Polito uh, cleaning and restoration does. Now, you had a question for me because I love this because you weren't exactly sure right. what, what I do. And how to explain it to other people. Thank you. I because I've got that. your pins. Yes. It's like, uh, what is this license to be badass? Right. Thing? So people right? are wondering. It's like, yes. well, that's a very unique. It's catchy. Yeah. It's like. You know, but it's, tell me more. Yeah, tell me more. And sometimes I don't want to say yeah. something that's incorrect or explain what you do that's incorrect. Well, so. I appreciate it. And it's like, you can go to my website. <laughs> it's like, but who does that anymore? <laughs> yeah. So, what is this website? So it's, you know, here's the thing is I have a 40 year background in, in business. Okay. Uh-huh. Second generation radio broadcaster, but I'm also now a psychotherapist. And so the license to be badass, I developed as a program to help build confidence mm-hmm. and it and persistence and a positive mindset. So I use practices in my cycle that I have from my psychotherapy practice, mm-hmm. but also my business acumen from running radio stations for so many years and doing consulting. So it's a little bit of business coaching, but I focus more on the positive psychology, the mindset, and how you can rewire your brain for happiness and positivity. And the badass thing is just like, I mean, come on. It's like you've been to the meetings where I say, hey, you introduce yourself and say, I'm Jonathan, the badass cleaning restorer from Polito or whatever it is. It's like completely changes your oh, whole completely changes it. whole mindset and attitude. And that's right. what this is, is that you, I, I certify badasses because I believe that um, you've been through the trials of life. You've maybe struggled. Maybe you've lost something, whether it's a job or a home or a loved one. Um, we've all struggled with something. We all have something. But you're not giving up and you haven't quit. Well, guess what? That's pretty badass. It is. It is very badass. The people who don't quit and continue to grow, choose to grow. So the badass program is basically about that, is giving you that confidence that mm-hmm. you are badass, you can do this, and I'm here to help you. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we're, whatever it is that you need. So, so what what is a uh, typical training or, I mean, how do you, so you, I get that. That makes perfect sense yeah. and that explains a lot. Yeah. Um, but what... Uh, Say if I wanted to be your client, what does that mm-hmm. consist of? Is that is well? That... Thank you. The, basically, what I have is I have a digital program with it where I take badass as an acronym, and we go through the entire program, and that's okay. a self that's self paced, and then it has coaching calls or a coaching meeting where we oh. get together and we work on whatever issue you have. Like I've just wrapped up with a client who wants to retire and move away from the business that she's working in, which works for a, co- a company, mm-hmm. to create her own company, and she had a passion about a oh. specific thing she wanted to do. So I helped her take go through all of the steps to Mm -hmm. get there but also meanwhile building that confidence 
for her as well because a lot of times we don't have the confidence to even get out their network so some of my coach some of sometimes it's like you might see me and I introduce somebody as my friend this is my friend Jonathan and you're not gonna know that okay he's kind of scared of being here at this networking event he's never done this before sure. so I'm just kind of being his wingman but you're not gonna know that because right. I'm just gonna introduce you as my friend but I encourage them to come with me to these networking groups show up Gotcha. You know, do that. Okay. So that's one of the things. And another one, this was like a person had a weight loss component to their coaching program. So rather than sitting in my office, I arranged with her, let's go on a walk then. Let's walk around, you know, oh. and get a three mile walk in our session instead. So I customize, that's what I'm coaching programs that are unlike anybody else's. And I assess you because of my therapy background, I can assess what do you need. And then with my consulting and my business acumen, it's like I can help you get there. So you said something yeah. interesting. So you not only help people with their self-development, but also business development. Absolutely. So you have yeah. two different two different aspects. So That's it's like amazing. so. So when someone says, "Are you a business coach or are you a life coach?" and I'm like, mm, "I'm neither. I'm a badass coach. <laughs> <laughs> I I certify badasses. So that's yes. what it is. It's a badass. It's like so. You have a successful business, but you also are into personal development mm -hmm. and personal growth. And how long does somebody actually? usually stay with you for that program is that like a month-long program is it uh... it could well I like to at least go when we do coaching there's no really cookie cutter anymore you go with their pace gotcha you know so mm -hmm. it's like so I have a package that I can provide for them but then how how long it takes us to get through that really depends on you gotcha you know that that kind of old coaching model is a, it's a 90 day package and you got to push through uh... it is like yes they work for like a boot camp and maybe to get you up and going but even I have done those myself mm -hmm. and I find that it can be overwhelming and you're getting so much information coming at you so fast and you have so many things that you need to get done that it almost stresses you out more and then yeah. when the 90 days is up you're like now what I don't have I don't have any more support from this person so I like to pace it out to something that's reasonable for you and if you want the fast pace great we'll go fast pace if you need it a little bit you know mm -hmm. like a pop because you have a job and you have a family and you have kids but you still want to do this then I'm like all right well then let's pace it to your level I gotcha yeah so I, that's why it's like yeah it's like, you know there's a lot of programs out there a lot of successful programs out there mm -hmm. I've just been in business for a really long time and then I'm also learned about the psychology aspect of business because of my licensed therapist background yeah. that I just saw a need where we need business and we need mindset. Gotcha. Both. I love it. Yeah. I have a fun question for you. Okay. And I, uh, interesting how this turned around about me, but I don't mind. Yeah. Okay, what's your well, question? we can talk about me all yeah. you want. You know, well, we will. <laughs> I have a yeah. quick question. So me being in restoration, I've been doing this for just shy of 10 years. Okay. And so when I walk into sometimes a restaurant, a business, uh, mm -hmm. somebody's home that I know maybe had some damage before or they have some questions, you know, my brain automatically goes into restoration mode and I'm thinking, you know, uh, man, that's that's a mistake right there mm -hmm. or, you know, that shouldn't be there. Mm -hmm. With you, with all your experience, mm -hmm. are you just psychoanalyzing everybody all the time? You know? <laughs> You're just standing in line at Starbucks or sitting across so, from yeah. me. You're just like, man, this guy's got some baggage in there. <laughs> well, not any more than the normal person would do. You know, mm. it's like I always say it's like yeah, it's an occupational hazard for sure. Yeah. Especially having a conversation with somebody, you, you, you might hear key words or things like that because uh -huh. you're trained. Not that I'm deliberately right. trying to, oh, of course not. you know, it's like the same thing how I listen to radio differently than a regular radio listener would. Yeah. You know, because I'm trained to hear different things. So, so no, I'm not psychoanalyzing everybody unless <laughs> you pay me. Uh. That's how it works. If you're paying me, then yes. Then yeah, But course. if you're not, no, I'm just your friend. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like, yeah. but I may have some words of wisdom for you. That's you never great. Know. I love yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. That's important. That's why I'm yeah. glad to know you then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm glad to know you too. So as far as a tip goes, you know, what sure. are some of the lessons that you've learned you know, whether it's networking or just being in business or even personally. You know? Well, uh, let's talk about business because, again, like I said, we take a lot of pride in our education of the community and letting people know things and not preying off of scare tactics or, mm -hmm. you know, trying to build a mountain out of a molehill. Um, really, one of the biggest things that I've learned in this industry is being prepared, mm -hmm. you know, because uh, these types of water damage and fire, unfortunately, that happens to people's homes. Uh, or businesses they don't pick and choose they don't you know everything's an accident yeah, right you know and and uh, when that does happen it's extremely like we talked about earlier it's very very stressful it's uh, it's very trying especially when you're dealing with a family and you've got kids and you've got schools and you've got work 
and, and all of a sudden your animals, house goes up. And yeah, animals, animals, animals the whole deal. And still, mm-hmm. and you still have to get your job done too. That's like, right. You know, it's like you got to stay focused, and you still right. got to provide. You still have a mortgage to pay for, even though you could be out of your home for nine months to a year because you know a major fire damage happened. So yeah, one you know, is making sure you're on top of your things and knowing where everything's at. Right. Having having copies digitally that you can get to because if a fire happens and you know that filing cabinet where you had all of your insurance paperwork and is everything now is blocked gone, you, or, or oh blocked, yeah. yeah. You know. So okay, so uh, this is really good advice and so different. Yeah. You know, so where what would you recommend? Okay, having everything together. Well, one, regular communication with your insurance agent. Okay. Making sure that you have proper coverages. Uh, you know, sometimes people inherit things from family or they go out and they buy a, a big purchase. And they don't the change their insurance. Right. Okay, so art, always jewelry, be... things like that, you know, and, and very inexpensively, you can call your agent and say, hey, I've got this, you know, I'd like to add it onto my policy or, or whatnot, you know. Mm-hmm. So making sure that you're up to speed, should anything happen, you have funds there to rebuild. Right. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, it, you brought up earthquakes earlier. Yeah. Earthquake insurance is so inexpensive now compared to what everybody's belief is because right. when it first came out it was very very expensive with high deductibles and everything else yeah uh, it's become extremely affordable and with as much shaking as we've had this year here in California it's inevitable that something's going to happen yeah it's that you live in California long enough the big one right yeah is at coming. some parts the networking and all that you know it's just it's a lot of fun mm-hmm. getting out like you said mm-hmm. making those relationships lifelong friends I've made some incredible relationships with just some of the ambassadors and some of the other chamber members yeah. that I've met yeah. and uh, and literally lifelong friendships now. And I've only been doing this networking thing for a little over a year now. Really? Yeah. I've always been boots on the ground in this restoration world, managing yeah. different divisions. Right. And then I took this position in um, in July of last year. Last year. Okay. And, uh, and I got introduced to, I did my first chamber meeting, you know, yeah. a year ago. And so here's a real, this is a really good, um, you know, lesson for anybody else who hasn't been out there networking and is a little nervous about it. You only started a year ago and That's you're right. a rock star at it because well, I, that was my first impression is that you've been doing it for a long time. Yeah. That was, you know, my first impression of you. And that's why I say it's like, you know, networking is like, I've been doing this for 40 years. So it's, for mm-hmm. me, it's like piece of cake, no brainer <laughs> for me. But when I meet people who they're new at it, now you're yeah. already extroverted and outgoing, yeah. right? Yeah, so bet. you didn't have any kind of anxiety or shyness that you need to get over. Well, I sure, I sure did. At my first, I remember the first several mixers that I would pull up to. I'd sit there in the car and I'd think, anxiety. you know what? Like, oh, I don't even know anybody. I don't think anybody's going to notice if I don't go inside. That's you know? right. That's and I've it, done that too, yeah. honestly. I have, I've had that dialogue with myself. Is anyone even going to notice if I'm not there? Right. And the answer is no. <laughs> they won't notice. <laughs> they won't but notice. But they will notice if you are there. That's right. And that's the positive that's aspect. The, the positive part. spin is that they'll see you when you show up. Yeah. And that's... The key and, to success. Uh, and you're familiar with our neighbor's monthly mixture that we that I co-host with yes. Sebastian. Oh yes, here we go with Sebastian. Okay, this is another call out, Sebastian. I think that you were like shy to do it live, but you better get in the car now because yeah. this is like the second or third time someone has called you out. Oh, then it you're is. definitely gonna be he here, definitely, Sebastian. Yes, he has to. Yeah, quit yeah. quit uh, quit running, friend. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> He's so, a showman, yeah. but he won't go live I'm with me in the you. car. It's like, mm, all right. Uh, <laughs> but that mixer is a prime example yeah. of something that that Sebastian started with a couple other people and I've been very honored to be able to help him out and now. It's and it's really and grown become, into something huge. Right. Yeah. We're we're very excited about what's happening with it, but it's it's a prime place for strictly for people that either want to grow their business, that want to talk about their business or that are even looking for a job. Yeah. Uh, oh, you know, there's see? there's no fee, there's no mm-hmm. commitment, there's no requests for us. We literally are just trying to create an an environment, an atmosphere for people to network and mix in a very comfortable manner. Yeah. You know? Right. Because it, it can be a little overwhelming going to maybe a chamber mixer where that, you know, you need to join at some point or, mm-hmm. you know, some of these other private groups. Do I fit in here? Yeah, where there's some sort of like eventually there's going to be an obligation where you right. have to like make a commitment, commitment. But well, I, yeah, that's, I, I, lo- I do love that mixer. And I think that, you know, like you in this one, in this one year of being in networking, mm-hmm. you are an, a prime example of someone who's done it right because well, thank you. I don't know it's like how many chambers are you involved in two or uh, three three four three so three. we're yeah Menifee Marietta Temecula and then and you got then, the monthly mixer thing and then you've got your B&I group and, right. and, and here but here's the critical component because this is your job that's right 
you're not actually going out and doing the inspections or the restoring as well. Occasionally, so, but yes, no, that's okay, not my primary. That's prim not your primary position. Right. So, so it's also important that you need to have that balance. You know, Jonathan needs to get out there all the time and that's what mm -hmm. he gets paid to do is to be out there that's for right. the company. That's right. So when you're building your business, you have to almost like, you know, like I have to do, I have to strategize. I have to of be course. very strategic on what I can attend because I've also got work I have to do. That's right. That I have to maintain. So there's always that balance as well that you have to practice. I was just reading an article this morning about time management mm -hmm. and it's extremely important to do everything with intention, mm -hmm. you know, because yeah. as a business owner, I, you know, I'm not a business owner of Polito, um, but as someone like yourself, mm -hmm. You know, it's important to do business where you're making money. Yeah. But at the same time, it's equally as important to be out there in the community educating and, mm -hmm. and giving that exposure and letting people know that you're here. It is. Uh, otherwise, it's kind of hard to continue. Yeah. Well, <laughs> yeah. I know, and just like getting back, you know, going back to me again, <laughs> not really, but it's not a sales pitch, but that's one of the things that I teach about too is time management. So I'm mm -hmm. really good at my own time management. A lot of people, they think that it, that time management means making a to-do list and then doing everything on the to-do list. Oh, look, I managed my time today. Not not exactly. Right. Um, it's not exactly that. It's, it's also time management about having that balance and being able to say, okay, I've got two hours today. I can do something completely different with that's my time. Right. Then, then, you know, like I had a conversation with somebody the other day that's like their time management skills led to them to playing video games on their phone, which caused them to procrastinate doing other stuff. Yes. You know, so it's not about doing more. It's about being smart about how you're doing it, uh -huh. <laughs> you know, and that's what it is. It's, that's what time management is. It's like, yeah, don't sabotage your success. Yeah. Be careful of social media because you're just oh. stuck there. <laughs> yeah. Social media is one of them for sure. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Well, yeah. Jonathan, thank you so much for your tips. It's great. Kelly, it was a pleasure. You. I'm glad we finally did this. I am too. I'm very excited. I'm Kelly Orchard with Mustang Monday. This is Jonathan Montanez from Polito Cleaning and Restoration. That's right. And then I'm going to have you do this. It's like I do. I, I asked him to do this. I haven't put it up on my dashboard yet but we're going to read my tagline so we are reminding you to be, be bold, bold be, be brave, brave be confident, confident and be badass <laughs> the bus to badassville is scheduled to come here for you pack your stuff Thanks for listening and getting one step closer to being licensed to be badass. Be sure to subscribe to continue on the bus to badassville. Snag your badass habits ebook at licensedtobebadass.com. You can stay in the slow lane and get just enough tools for successful badassery one podcast at a time. Or you can join the badass ambassador crew in the fast lane by checking your baggage with my licensed to be badass integrated program with videos, worksheets, and group coaching for motivation, mindset, and a fresh approach to living a fruitfully badass life. Badass Attitudes, licensed here, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Be sure to subscribe and hop on the bus to Badassville.